Hey, Sky Street with you. Uh, nothing real to report on except for world problems. Climate change. Did you know that polar bears are really having a hard time surviving now because one to two thirds of their normal ice flow has been depleted? Did you know that there is a garbage vortex in the ocean swirling around the size of Texas? Actually, there's two of them. Did you know that radiation leaks on a daily basis into our streams, rivers, and drinking water. Did you know that fracking for natural gas is screwing up people's natural water tables for drinking water? Well, it don't hurt nothing. We just shove millions of gallons of water and benzene and other chemicals that we don't have to tell you about down the pipes and then we explode them and release the gases and then everything's okay. We got natural energy and yeah, there might be a risk of drinking water contamination, but hey, there's no real viable proof of it. So we're just gonna keep on doing what we're doing. How often? Have you really thought about all the mass bird die-offs and the mass fish die-offs that happen lately? How often have you really thought about it? Have you paid it any attention? Have you thought about what might be causing it besides, oh, well, there was an inadequate water supply. There was an inadequate oxygen supply oxygen supply, there was an inadequate flow of... <sighs> no, those excuses don't convince me. Chernobyl is still spewing out doses of radiation after all these years. Ah, well, you know, it's normal, you know, sometimes we have a little bit of a leak, and sometimes it does go into the atmosphere, but there's no pose for any real danger, it's just radioactivity. Horse meat, found in a record number of foods, including macaroni and cheese. Fruit pies. Say that again together with me. Fruit pies. Burger King openly admits there's horse meat in their 100% beef patties. How often do you find a pack of chewing gum that doesn't contain aspartame? When you look at a tube of toothpaste and it says active ingredient, fluoride, do not swallow. But we know there's fluoride in our water supply. It's okay to swallow it. Come on, people. You gotta be getting the point here. Are you with me? Just some things I wanted to bring up. For your inquisitiveness. Things to think about. Things to question. Things to research. This is Sky Streak, and I'm out.